Welcome to Pace Moments. Here, our experts and guests discuss many aspects of corporate finance and analytical models that will help make better, more informed business decisions possible in your organization. I'm Doug Hicks, one of the directors of Pace. In this edition of Pace Moments, I'm going to tell a story about a navigator and a management accountant. About two centuries ago, there was a navigator who served on a ship that regularly sailed through dangerous waters. It was this navigator's job to make sure the captain always knew where the ship had been, where it was, and how to safely and efficiently move the ship from one point to another. In the performance of his duties, the navigator relied on a set of sophisticated instruments. Without the effective functioning of these instruments, it would be impossible for him to chart the safest and most efficient course for the ship to follow. One day, the navigator began to suspect that one of his most important instruments was calibrated incorrectly. If his suspicions turned out to be correct, the navigational information he provided the captain, information on which the captain based the decisions necessary to safely and efficiently direct the ship, was inaccurate. After several days of re-examining the evidence and rethinking his conclusions, the navigator concluded that something was definitely wrong with the way his instruments were making their measurements. No one but the navigator had any inkling that there might be anything wrong with the ship's navigation information. He knew, of course, that he should immediately report the problem to the captain. He was, however, intimidated by the captain's style and thought that pointing out a problem with instruments that had seemingly worked in the past would make him look bad. As a result, her navigator decided not to inform the captain. As a result of his decision, the navigator always made, made sure he slept near a lifeboat, so that if his accurate navigational information led to a disaster, his chances of survival would be high. Unfortunately, faulty navigational information caused the ship to hit a reef that the captain believed to be many miles away. The ship was lost, the cargo was lost, and many sailors lost their lives. Our navigator, always being in close proximity to the lifeboats, survived the th sinking and later became the navigator on another ship. So what's your opinion of this navigator? Do you think he's worthy of being considered an able navigational professional? Would you want him as your ship's navigator? Two centuries later, there was a management accountant who worked for a company in which there were hundreds of stakeholders, from investors who had put their savings at risk to longtime employees who had invested many years of their life into the firm. It was the job of this management accountant to make sure the company knew how it had performed, its current financial position, and the likely consequences of decisions being considered by the company's president. In the performance of his duties, the management accountant relied on a cost information system based on a model that was believed to be a true representation of the company's economics. One day, the management accountant began to suspect that the model on which his cost information was based was calibrated incorrectly. It did not reflect the business underlying economics. If his suspicions turned out to be correct, the decision costing information he provided to the president, information on which the president based the decisions necessary to direct the company toward its strategic objectives, was inaccurate. After several days of re-examining the evidence and rethinking his conclusions, the management and Galton concluded that something was definitely wrong with the way the company's cost system was making its measurements. No one but the management accountant had any inkling that there might be anything wrong with the company's decision-costing information. He knew, of course, that he should immediately report the problem to the president. He was, however, intimidated by the president's style and thought that pointing out a problem with the cost model that had seemingly worked for the past would make him look bad. As a result, our management accountant decided not to inform the president. 
As a result of his decision, the management accountant made sure that he kept his network up to date so that if his inaccurate management accounting information led to a disaster, his chances of landing another job would be high. Unfortunately, faulty management accounting information caused the president to make inappropriate pricing, operating, investment, and other decisions that led the company into bankruptcy. The company went out of business, the owners lost their investment, creditors incurred financial losses, and many longtime hardworking employees lost their jobs. The management account, however, easily found a job at another company. What's your opinion of this management accountant? Do you put him in the same category as our navigator from two centuries earlier? Is he someone you would actually want on your management team? An organization's operating and cost models are critical components of its decision support system. Along with the revenue and investment models, they make up the profitability analytics framework. If those models are not causality-based and do not reflect the fundamental economics that underlie the organization's operation, the information they provide will mislead decision makers and undermine the quality of their decisions. As stewards entrusted with ensuring the quality of cost information, management accountants cannot bury their heads in the sand like the one in the story but must actively pursue the development and use of models that accurately reflect the cost economics of their organizations. Instead of being valued depleting members of the team, like the navigator and management accountants in our story, they must become value adding members through the development and use of causality based models that accurately reflect their organization underlying economics for use in supporting revenue operating and investment decisions a process emphasized by the profitability analytics framework. That's my point of view. What's yours? Let us know by posting your comments in the PACE website's forum. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you, and I hope to talk to you again soon.